Welcome my students. Today we will continue talking about the features of organisms and today we will talk about the arthropods and mollusks. Regarding the animals that missing a backbone, they are being referred to as invertebrates. So invertebrates, they do not have a backbone. Firstly, there is the cnidarians and cnidarians are not covered in our syllabus. Also, the uh, nematodes, and nematodes is also uh, not included in our syllabus for uh, the, new, uh, the new syllabus. As well, also the annelids or the true worms, they are not in the syllabus. The echinoderm or echinodermata or echinoids, they are also not in our syllabus. But the mollusks and arthropods, they are with us. So, let's talk about them in details. Arthropods generally, such like the arachne, the crustacean, the insects and myrobods, generally they are invertebrates. They have a waterproof exoskeleton, their bodies are segmented and they have the jointed limbs. That's why they are named as arthropods. Arthro means joint, bode means leg, this in Latin. So arthropods means jointed legs. Those are the main features. Regarding the mollusks, such like squid, snails, the uh, cuttlefish and the nautilus, they do contain or they do not have a segmented body. The body is in three, I'm sorry, in three continuous parts with head, body and muscular food. And some of them, do, they have a shell, whether it's externally, like in the most uh, types of them, and they may have it internally as well. Okay. Here about the main features of the arthropods, we will talk about them in general, and after this we will go for details. Regarding the insect, the main features of the insect is the presence of three body parts, they have three segmented body parts, and also they do contain three pairs of flags. They have two pairs of wings, uh, one pair of antennae, they have compound eyes, one pair of compound eyes, and the body head, they have a body that is made up of three regions, head, thorax, and abdomen. This is the uh, insect. If we go for the arachnids, the main features, they have four uh, pairs of legs, they have four pairs, that's why they are referred to as uh, octoboda, octa means eight, the insects are hexaboda, hexa means six and boda means legs, so they have six legs. Arachnids are octaboda, octa means eight, boda means legs, so octaboda means eight legs. Or we can say four bears, so do not trick if he mention pairs or just legs. They have eight legs or four bears of legs. The body is divided into head and abdomen, so where is the thorax? Thorax and head are fused together to make a cephalothorax. So, the several pairs of, they have several pairs of simple eyes, they do not contain that compound eye. Also, they have cholesterol, and those cholesterol are very important for biting, for poisoning their breeze in order to paralyze them for better feeding. After paralyzing the breeze, they are able now to feed on them. Also, if we go, if we're going talking about the crustaceans, the main features of crustaceans are, number one, they have uh, five or more pairs of legs. That's why they are known as decaboda. Deca means, uh, in Latin means ten, poda means leg. So, decaboda means ten legs. Also, they have two pairs of antennae, two pairs of antennae. It's very obvious in the crabs and the shrimps. You can see this obviously. Also, they have head and abdomen. Okay, because the head and thorax is being fused together in a cephalothorax. They have exoskeleton that is made or making a hard carabas, and they do have compound eyes that are mostly, they are uh, stocked or they are on a holder, which is short in the most of cases. So we will go for the Myra bolts. The Myra bolts has 10 or more pairs of legs, okay, 10 or more. They have one pair of antennae and they do contain simple eyes. Of course, 
We will talk about this in details, such like centibeads and millibeads. We will go to this in further details. So the general structure and the general features of all of the different types of orthobolts is uh, covered. So let's go further for the details of every, sing of every single uh, part and category. Firstly, this is the orthoboda and this is the class insecta or hexaboda. They are a large group of invertebrates which have common features. They have waterproof exoskeleton, which is made up of kitten or chitin, which has allowed them to live on the dry land. Also, they have several pairs of jointed legs for fast movement. Also, they have segmented bodies for flexibility. They have head, thorax, and abdomen. This is the orthobods or the uh, orthoboda. But here we are talking especially about the, yeah, this is just a general introduction. Okay. A is the insect, the first example. In the insects, they, of course, like the locust, the fly, the ant, the bees, all of those are different examples of uh, class insecta or insect or hexaboda. They do contain three body segments, head, thorax, and abdomen. They have three pairs of jointed legs, and also they have one pair of compound eyes. They have one pair of antennae. They have some, or some of them do contain wings, while other may, do not, may not have. And of course, they, no, they, they contain no wings. Also, the house fly only one pair of wings. If we continue talking about it, this is the um, second example, which is the class uh, arachnida or arachnids, such like the uh, spiders, such like scorpions. The main features are, number one, they have two body segments. Why? Because the head and the thorax fuse together, forming the cephalothorax, and the second part of the body is the, the abdomen. They have four pairs of jointed legs, they have four pairs of simple eyes, and they have no antennae. So, if you ask you on the exam, for example, the main uh, difference between the presence or absence of antennae in the, uh, between the insecta and uh, arachnids, in insect there is one pair, while in arachnid there is no antennae. Also, they have no wings, one of the most uh, obvious things. Now we'll talk about the third class or crustaceans, uh, such like crabs, lobster, shrimps are all members of class crustaceans. If we go in for the crustacean, we will find out that they have more than four pairs of jointed legs, they have one pair of compound eyes, they have two pairs of antennae, they have no wings, and if you are looking here, this is the crab. It is very obvious that the hidden thorax is fused together, forming a cephalothorax, which is here is known as the carabas, that is very strong for protection as well. And there's claws that I found here in order to allow it for better capturing and uh, taking the or feed on the prey's probably. They do contain one pair of compound eye, mostly stocks, such like here in the crab and two pairs of antennae. They are very long and obvious, but uh, in the uh, shrimps, if you notice this, they have also no wings. If you're proceeding talking about the uh, myrobods or class myroboda, we're going to find that they have head and segmented body. They have one pair of legs on each body segment. They have simple eyes. They have one pair of antennae. Example here is the centibede. Centi means 100. Here they have a lot more than 17 okay, segments and they have a lot, a lot of legs as well. Myrobodes are centibeads 100 or less than 100 and millibeads, milli in Latin means a thousand, so it is more than millibeads are more than 100 and less than 1000. The centibeads flattened with 18 body segments mostly. The millibeads, they mostly are rounded with up to 100 body segments and a lot of legs are being imagined. In some cases, there are two pairs of legs are being imagined from each side. What are the structure 
and adaptations of arthropods. The very important thing here. Number one, arthropods are a very successful group because they have many adaptations allowing them to reach their food and to escape from their predators. Number one, pairs of jointed legs for locomotion and fast movement. They have segmented body for flexibility and easy movement. They have antennae for sensitivity for touch and even for chemicals. They have large numbers of eyes for wide field of vision. Also, they have a hard skeleton for protection, support and act as a waterproof so they do not dry even if they are in a very harsh or hot climate. They have wings for flying only in insecta or insects or hexabodes. Uh, small in size so they can hide easily from their predators. Okay, now let's move to the mollusks. Regarding the phylum mollusca or mollusks, such like snail, uh, such like a squid, slugs, octopus, they are characterized by the presence of soft, unsegmented body. They, or some of them, have shell like snails, slugs do not have, and some others may contain this shell internally, such like squid, for example. Some do not have shell, leg, slug, uh, I'm sorry, like slug, do not contain uh, shell, and even octopuses do not have uh, external shell. They have also a, a muscular food, in some cases, such like the gastroboda, but they have a very strong muscles that are found inside the body that may use for movement, and they may use it even for opening and closing their shells, but this further detail is not for uh, our curriculum. This is the phylum mollusks. And that was our lesson for today. Wish to see you very soon. Goodbye.